Hello guys, uh, welcome to the session on uh, session management in Angular using local storage and auth god. Okay. So in this session, what we are trying to achieve is like uh, we are uh, trying to add a session. Okay. So only when uh, the login when the user has logged in, he should be able to see the home page. When he is not logged in. He should be, and the user tries to have access the home page. He should be redirected to the login. That is, only when the session is present, he should be able to access the login page. If the session is not present, he should be redirected to the login page. So, how we are going to do this? Uh, once the uh, the user passes in the username and password. Uh, and the server sends that uh, the user is authenticated we are going to save the user in a local storage okay and using auth god what we are going to do is when if the local storage is present we, we are going to assume that session is present and allow him to move to the home page if the local storage is not present we are going to assume that the session is not present and we are going to redirect him to the login page and uh, we are going to add the god the god in the routes we want to protect so that uh, maybe in home page i want to protect only uh, the uh, users who have a session i am going to add it uh, it the auth god in the home page so that uh, we can protect the home page okay so this we are going to do using a simple uh, application okay I will show you the application what I have I have already I already have it running so if you see this application it is just a simple application which displays the list of employees this uh, list of employees this is a angular application okay and in the back end I have a node server so the data it fetches from the node server and displays to you if you see here right now session is not implemented okay it doesn't ask for uh, a session so whenever uh, the user goes to a route it displays the data we don't have a session implemented here that is uh, only if the session is present i am not uh, showing this data if uh, whenever the user uh, enters the uh, route that particular route i am displaying so i am trying to implement session so that uh, only if the session is present I will display this else I will redirect him to the login page for doing that okay what uh, the first step is okay first once uh, he sends the from the login page when he sends the username and password to the server and the server says it is authenticated I want to save it save the data in the local storage so that uh, in the odd god implementation I can check the local storage is present i can assume that the session is present okay so let's do that so in my application i have a login already implemented if you see the components i have a login component okay this login component what it does is it uses a authentication service to send the username and password so let me move to that authenticated service okay this is the service which sends the authentication username and password to the server so using this authentication service i am passing in the username and password to the server node server if you go inside login you will see that it actually passes in so from the login what i am doing I am using the authentication service to send the username and password information. Okay. In the authentication service, if you see, I am uh, to this URL 8081 is where my node server is running. Okay. Node server is running on this port. I am sending this username password as a post to this URL. If the username password is correct, my server is going to send the user information okay that user information i'm 
I as a first step I will save it in local storage okay so I have used a pipe pipe uh, pipe for this okay to understand better on this you can go to observables okay maybe I will add that observables uh, session of mine in the description okay uh, so once the username password is sent username the user details are sent from the server what I am going to do I am going to set it in the local storage local storage dot set I am going to set it in the key of current user okay and I am going to save the user information whatever the user information is sent from the server I am saving it so that I can use in auth got okay so I have saved the user information so let us now do, go to the login page check whether this is working let me I am going to the login page so, uh, this is my login page let me also open the network tab so that you can see the details which has been sent by the server okay so let me uh, say abc and pass this is what uh, I have hard coded in the node server as an authenticated user so when, when say, once I give out abc pass and say submit it is going to send the user information okay let me save that so if you see that in my uh, network tag you will see that it is sending the user information okay so this user information I would have saved in the local storage in current user okay current user I would have saved so it should also be available in application current user now okay so this information I can use in auth got to identify whether he is a whether this user has a session or not okay I have also added json.stringify so that we stringify the data uh, which we receive from the server now let us create a auth god as per my slide now this we have completed after login we have saved the local storage now let's move to implementing auth god so it is also a two step process first we have to add a auth god service okay auth god service with the implementation to check for local storage based on that to decide whether to go to home page or login page and then add that odd god service to the route we want to god okay let me first add a auth god now so adding that is very simple you have you can just generate using angular cli generate god i will say you create something called authentication once you give like this it should ask me for a implementation so it has asked me for implementation so you can select can activate and press enter now it has created two files one the spec file and another one is a ts file so let me go to the uh, ts file okay so this is the format the angular cli has created for it so using this we are going to implement our logic okay by default it will always return true but we want to return true only when I have a value in my local storage okay so we have to write it inside can activate method okay can activate method of authentication got which implements from can activate okay so I am writing the logic now if local storage has a key called current user you allow the user user to access the route so I will say return true if not I am saying I will change the route now we want router for that I don't have a router 
so let me dependency inject the routing router now so for dependency injection you can refer to my separate uh, session on that okay so let me dependency inject router which i want to make the angular to move to login page okay so i will make it public router so that it will make it as a class instance member okay so i have to ask for router now so this is what i want okay so router will be auto imported from angular core angular router sorry so using if the local storage is not present i assume that session is not present and i will ask it to move to login page okay so slash login page i'm asking to move and uh, i will also add a query param to just uh, to uh, remember the url from which the person moved to the login page state dot url i will okay so give uh, like this so that uh, when he moves when we move back to login page we uh, save the routing from what he has for to save that url from which he was redirected to login page okay and i will return false here so what we have completed is i have done the implementation now now other important thing is you have to guard the route so that to prevent the user from going to that route right so this god implementation is done now add this god service it is a service you can see it here it is a injectable what uh, the angular has created for us okay so let me go out to app module and protect the home page home page and all the child's inside the home page so let me go to app module.ts so this is my home page okay this is my login page logout page and this is my home page and all the child's i i want to guard all my home page home page and all the children's inside home page so i will write something like can activate here and i will put activated what is the name of that whatever we wrote right you just copy that and paste it here i think it should be inside okay one second it should be implemented imported okay i think it should be within brackets so that's it we have now guarded the home page okay so this home page should be accessible only when the local storage is present as per our logic now okay let me check it in my application so we have completed both the step we have added the route we want to guard and add guard implementation as well so let us move to our application now so this is our application we currently we don't have local storage saved now uh, if anybody goes to home he should be redirected right should be redirected to he will be redirected to our login page okay now let us log in and see whether once we have a session whether uh, the user is able to go to the home page now he has gone this user has gone to home page now in the in the neighbor tab let me try for home page home employee list right home employee list i will try to access now you see since the session is present he is able the user is able to go to the home page even in the neighbor neighbor tab okay is able to go to home page but if you log out this right log out the log out what i have the functionality is once he logs out 
have a, have a fun functionality like once any user logs out, I will remove the local storage as per this code. It is a simple logout component. Once anybody clicks on the logout component, I will remove the uh, local storage and make him move to the login page as per this code. So once you remove log out, you can see that local storage is removed and he is moved to login page. Now if any user tries to access the home page, he will be redirected to login page. Understand? With the return URL, what we specified to um, capture the URL from which he was returned, with which he was redirected to login page. Okay. Hope you have understood this. Okay. We have uh, implemented a session in Angular. Okay. So, I will be also adding the GitHub for the Angular application I showed you in the description below. Kindly subscribe to get my future videos. Uh, thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day.